Johnny stumbles, Johnny falls under slogans of the wall. He sees where's the sands, he says, call me Mr. Malcontent. And one way of thinking about smooth space is it's like a child playing in a field where all its fantasies are present uh, at once. There's no limits on its thinking, no limits to what it can do. And gradually it learns the rules of how to behave and that field starts to become peopled with, with rules and fences and boundaries that constrain it so it can't run free anymore. A line of flight is something that breaks out of the striations of that space and those striations both psychologically, uh, physically and socially are what bind us into modern life. A line of flight is anything that creates a way out of that. It can be a social connection, it can be a psychological fantasy, it can be uh, a practical act, something which helps you to break free and challenges those, those rules or moves between the fences to get you out there. I guess I started work as a coal miner when I was 16, just on the east of the Pennines, uh, where the deep coal mines are. And uh, I guess being a miner, spending a lot of time in the dark, it was a real release really to co come out to these places. So climbing was fantastic, but it was also just, just the light and being in the outdoors and being with all that noise and the repetition of the work. Uh, so I guess not a lot of outlet for creativity. Um, and so climbing really fulfilled a lot of that. Dirty old town. Dirty old town. Actually running the looms when everything's going fine and you just sat there you can you can get rather swept away by the rhythm of it uh, sometimes that can do funny things to your head where you just have to stop and go outside other times it can take you into really special places where you just sort of one part of you is aware of what's happening and concentrating on your job checking that nothing's going wrong but the rest of you the real bits of you can sort of go off on flights to wherever rings your bells, you know? I really resist the idea that it's thrill-seeking, because, which is what often people think climbing's about, it's thrill-seeking, and I, I hate that, but I think that's because it just sounds shallow, and I don't want to think I'm shallow. And it's certainly not about adventure or exploration at all, it's just being away and out for a little while. Out of, the, out of the normal run of things. <laughs>